Cisco Firepower Threat Defense, Snort version 3, Encrypted Traffic Visibility. Now, decryption of the internet is something we've done for a very, very long time. But with TLS 1.3, server certificate encryption creates significant load on firewalls. So to reduce this, Snort version 3 utilizes machine learning to determine the application. So the client process generating the client hello packet identifies the known browser and processes, therefore providing a path from now on to reduce the number of decryption events needed. This is pretty neat. And now we can provide this functionality to the user community. All right, let's get started here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to use the dashboard. Once we go to application statistics, you can see connections, intrusion events, and TLS fingerprint. And so on the left here, we can see discovered processes like Docker and confidence level around TLS fingerprinting of malware. Pretty cool. Now you can see it's very low here. We're going to scroll back a week. Again, malware is still pretty low, but we can see additional applications here. SnapD, Evolution, Splunk. Again, all being identified without being decrypted. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and enable this functionality for the platform. Now, this was done previously, and I'm going to come back and turn it on as if it was not enabled. So let's go ahead and do that. We're in the Advanced tab within the Base Policy or within the policy that you want this enabled. And from here, all we have to do is click Enable. Now, it gives us a good description of the feature itself, right? So this feature uses machine learning on, on session metadata to provide insights, such as the name of the process that initiated a connection and whether that process is associated with malware into encrypted traffic without needing to perform decryption. And then it gives you some uh, insight into the efficacy and, and how that might be obtained. So we're going to enable this feature. Go ahead and save this out. Then we're going to have to deploy this. So let's go ahead and do that. We're not going to sit and watch the deployment. We'll go ahead and get this started. We'll go off to the next portion of this video. All right, so let's go to analysis. Let's go to connection events. Now from connection events, let's go ahead and go to reporting. What we're going to do is generate maybe a monthly report where we can get the output of what we're discovering from processes that are using TLS as well as any malware. So let's go ahead and make some modification to this default dashboard and turn this into a report. So let's scroll down all the way down to TLS fingerprint process statistics. And we'll go ahead and make it a graph. The x-axis is going to be TLS fingerprint process name. And we'll leave it at total connections. And we'll do this every month. And we'll do the top 100. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Now let's move on to the second portion of this report. And we'll grab TLS malware statistics. Again, we'll do graph. And for the x-axis, we'll use TLS fingerprint malware confidence. Total connections is the only option here. Again, we'll do this monthly and we'll do the top 100. We'll go ahead and save this out after we give it a name called Encrypted Visibility Engine Reporting. Go ahead and save. And again, remember the burden that's put on these platforms when they have to decrypt. It doesn't mean that you never have to decrypt anymore, but it does provide an opportunity to streamline and be more efficient. So let's go ahead and generate this report. Now we'll get a message stating that the report is ready to view and we can certainly click that and jump into that report from here. We can also go to tasks and click the report uh, from there as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And we get a quick visual in regards to applications, processes that are using TLS as well as any malware uh, associated that has been encrypted. All right. Now let's go ahead and go to Unified Events. This is where we um, unify all events, IPS, malware, um, connection events, etc., cetera, um, all into one view. Let's go ahead and filter uh, additional columns around TLS. We'll go ahead and click those. Go ahead and select Apply. And if we scroll to the right, we're going to see some new um, columns here. TLS, malware confidence, 
uh, the score, uh, the process confidence and score. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead from here and um, let's do some filtering. And we're gonna do a, a live example here. So application protocol, HTTPS, and the destination IP, we'll go ahead and enter that as well. Just to make sure that we're filtering and we're really focused on the event that we're trying to generate here. Go ahead and enter the IP address. And from here, we'll go ahead and hit apply. Now we don't see anything here yet. Let's go ahead and change the timeline. Let's do the something like the last hour and apply. And let's go ahead and give this a try. See what happens. So we're using the application as Firefox, as you can see here. And we're gonna go ahead and go to a website that's encrypted. Let's see if it's able to identify the application without having to decrypt the payload. Now there's no malware here, so we're not gonna discover that, but this will be a, a way of showcasing that we will pick up the application process that's actually generating the TLS connection. So go ahead and hit refresh here, and we can see a connection event we can scroll down here and we can see a couple of things. TLS fingerprint process name Firefox, confidence level is 90%, no malware, very low, um, and malware confidence is 0% because there is none. And again, we can scroll to the, to, to the right um, and we see that those same fields here within the connection event without having to drop it down and looking at all the details. Pretty amazing functionality that's now available within Firepower. Mm -hmm.